friends welcome in our own teacher channel class 10th science workshop of lesson number 10 disaster management part 1 if you want to see marathi video then link is given in description box before starting the workshop subscribe my channel and to get notification touch the bell icon question 1 complete the table motor accident symptoms driving vehicles at high speed and losing control of vehicles vehicle in damaged condition effects it may result in injury to people loss of life etc remedy the victim must be given medical help or shifted to medical center land sliding symptoms unusual bulges or cracks develop in the ground or street or sidewalks effects causes property damage injury or even death it also affects water supplies sewage disposal system dam roadways etc remedy people should be evacuated from the area of landslide those who are caught in the debris should be rescued with the help of concerned authorities forest fire symptoms very dry and hot climate or fires lit by people visiting forests can cause this forest fire effects air pollution remedy stay or move as far away as possible from the fire and protect yourself theft symptoms broken locks windows scatter objects etc effects loss of property and other valuables remedy contact the local police and inform about the theft right symptoms religious or community related public hate speeches effects loss of public property and even human lives also disturbs social peace remedy try to remain away from the affected area war symptoms tensions built between two nations effects loss of human life and property of both the nations remedy dialogues and negotiations of issues between war torn nations epidemic symptoms unhealthy and unclean environment change in weather etc effects health of people get affected remedy maintain cleanliness and eat healthy home cooked food drought symptoms lack of rainfall and drying up of water resources effects life of humans and animals get affected remedy ensure minimal use of water store and save water locust attack symptoms feeding mark on leaves and shoots 
portion of leaf ages consumed etc effects damage to the crop causing financial loss a remedy use appropriate pesticides financial crisis symptoms arises due to unscrupulous use of finance effects basic amenities become limited and daily life comes at a standstill remedy utilize finances very cautiously avoid unnecessary expenditure flood symptoms excessive rain and rising level of river water effects collapsing of bridges massive loss of life and property remedy evacuate low lying areas and seek shelter in elevated areas famine symptoms disturbance in the balance between the rainfall and population leading to water shortage effects leads to reduce crop and resulting in hunger it can also lead to migration of people remedy proper planning of uses and reuse of water question 2 write notes a disaster management authority the authority established by the government from national to village level to control and coordinate disaster management is known as the disaster management authority in india the disaster management act was passed in 2005 in this disaster management authority chairman for national level is prime minister state level chief minister district level collector taluka level tahsildar and village level there is sarpanch at the district level district collector is responsible for the disaster management and implementation of rehabilitation schemes collector is planning coordinating and controlling the implementation of a rehabilitation program gives out the necessary instructions and reviews the entire system district collector is also responsible for designing the schemes for each districts b nature of disaster management the nature and scope of disaster management includes the following phases 1 pre disaster phase 2 warning phase 3 emergency phase 4 rehabilitation phase 5 recovery phase and 6 reconstruction phase taking into consideration the nature and scope of a disaster only three aspects of disaster are important for common citizens one phase of emergency important character of this phase is that maximum lives can be saved by quick actions during this phase only various actions like search rescue operations medical assistance first aid are expected in this phase 2 transitional phase rehabilitation work is started 
in this phase after the subsidence of any type of disaster it includes clearing of debris restoring water supply repairing roads etc it will help to bring normalcy in public life 3 reconstruction phase this is highly complicated phase this phase is a continuation of the earlier two phases and deals with reconstruction of buildings restoration of facilities like roads and water supply this phase generally takes a long time see mock drill mock drill is conducted to check the preparedness of the people in a locality premise or building to face a disaster it helps to judge the efficacy of the system prepared for disaster redressal virtual situation of disaster is created to check the reaction time for any type of disaster trained personnel observe their responsibilities to check execution of plan designed for disaster redressal mock drill is arranged on disaster of fire in various schools by the firefighters it includes the demonstration like executing the fire rescuing the people trapped at higher floors of building etc d disaster management act 2005 the disaster management act which was passed in india in 2005 deals with effective management of disasters according to this act an authority has been established at the government level to control and coordinate the disaster management from national to village level district taluka or village authorities are directly involved in search rescue and rehabilitation work as per this act national disaster response force has been established for responding appropriately to different type of disasters question 3 answer the following questions A explain the role of district disaster control unit after occurrence of any disaster The district disaster control unit gets into action immediately after the impact of a disaster or as soon as it gets an intimation about an upcoming disaster it is responsibilities include review of various aspects of disaster and maintaining contacts with various agencies like army navy air force paramilitary forces etc for getting help it also coordinates with various voluntary organizations and takes their help and assistance in disaster management b give the reasons for increase in human disasters after the world war 2 the reasons for increase in human disasters after the world war 2 are as follows one condition of natural imbalance has occurred 
due to grade of economic progress of human being. 2. Incidences like terrorism, social differences, etc. have become common. 3. The increasing population led to increasing demands, which further led to emergence of some problems, which reached its peak. Number 4. Economic inequality, racial and religious differences, etc. have led to the condition of instability in the country. C. Which are the objectives of disaster management? The objectives of disaster management are as follows. 1. To reduce the loss of human life caused during the disaster and to rescue people from those disasters. 2. Supply of essential commodities of the people to reduce the effect of disaster. 3. To restore the human life in the region and bring normalcy in life of people. 4. Rehabitant disaster victims. 5. To take precautionary steps so as to reduce the effect of similar disasters in future. D. Why is it essential to get the training of first aid? Various types of major or minor disasters are faced by us in our daily life. They include accidents, injuries, infighting, electric shock, snake bite, dog bite, fire due to electric short circuit, etc. Victims of such disasters need to be offered some primary help before actual medical treatment is available. It is in such circumstances that first aid is useful. The main objective of first aid is preventing deterioration of health, preventing death and starting the process of rehabilitation. Also the person present at the location of the disaster should be able to Administer first aid to himself or other around him who is in need. E. Which different methods are used for transportation of patients? Why? The different methods used for transportation of Patients, depending on their condition, are as follows. 1. Cradle method. This method is useful for carrying children and underweight victims. 2. Carrying piggyback. This method is useful for carrying an unconscious patient. 3. Human crutch method. This method is useful for supporting a patient with one injured leg or those who required minimal assistance. 4. Pulling or lifting method. This method is useful for carrying an unconscious patient. 5. Two hand chair method. This method is useful for helping patients who can hold their body upright but are unable to use their legs. 6. Forehand chair method. This method is useful for helping patients who need support below their waist. 7. Stretcher. This method is useful for carrying an unconscious or a very badly injured person. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any query, then please comment me.